Here we have a beautiful shelf trumpeter clock made by Emily and Vieli around 1880. This clock is large, it's 31 inches across the base. It's a little over 44 inches high. And the whole clock is constructed out of solid walnut. So there's no linden wood, there's no veneers, even the box is solid walnut. And this trumpeter is carved heavily. Uh, we've seen lots of trumpeters over the years, but none as intricately carved as this piece. And we'll go over some of the details here in a minute. You see the quality of the carvings. Have two pheasants at the bottom. Trees and ferns and rocks. The case actually arches up off the table so the music can escape. Another pheasant on the side. Even the case on this piece is fully carved to look like a tree all the way around. Top of the clock is a large full relief eagle. About a second away from swooping down and picking up a lunch. We've seen a lot of trumpeters over the years, but none with this amount of detail. See, even the roof on this clock is fully carved like a Biha cuckoo. See, even the underside. The roof gable is also carved. On most trumpeters, the side doors are just typical gingerbread fretwork. You see on this piece, they're full relief acorns and oak leaves, silk lined. See, the base is solid all the way across. It's actually a tree that's part of the base that's grown all the way up the back edge of the case all the way to the roof gable and that's done on both sides that gives it a real nice 3D effect against the wall See the dial on this piece is also carved from walnut and the bezel cartouches as well as the dial center is all from the same single piece of walnut you see the detail is just spectacular yeah, the center dial is carved out in bunches of flowers. Each flower is no larger than the tip of the smallest finger in your hand. Hands are beautiful. See the detail of the iron cross. The numerals are also bone carved. Over the weekend, we did the musical restoration on this clock. We did all the valves, pallet valves, bellow valves, put all new skins on the bellows, uh, redid all the paper on the air channels, and uh, finally this clock plays as it should. It took a total of about 19 hours to go through and do the whole piece. Um, we still got to put the trumpeter figure back in the case. There's some minor adjustments to the movement. Uh, it's pretty much there, we'd like to share it with you. That's the William Pill Overture on eight horns, and that's played every hour or also on demand. So it's not a clock you probably want to run if you want to get any sleep. But uh, it's a masterpiece made by Emmeline Vailey around 1880, and we're happy to have it in our collection.